My biggest concern is that Tesla is rolling out full self-driving technology in, in beta to on city streets with untrained drivers, and, ha and they have not addressed our recommendations that we've issued as a result of numerous investigations of Tesla crashes. Have you discussed this personally with Elon Musk? Have you had a phone call with him or a meeting face to face where you've said, look, here's A, B and C of what needs to be done. Why haven't you done this? Yeah, I, I don't know, Mr. Musk. We have never met. But this isn't about Mr. Musk. And it's not about it's certainly not about me. The NTSB and I specifically meet people on their worst day of their lives after a crash, after they've lost a loved one. That is part of our job at the NTSB. And our job is to determine what happened, why it happened, and prevent a crash from happening again. We conduct a thorough investigation, and at the end of that investigation, we issue findings of probable cause and safety recommendations. And then we work extensively with the recipients of those recommendations to ensure they're implemented, because it's not until they're implemented that safety is truly improved. And in this case, we haven't received a response from Tesla in four years, yet we've reiterated those recommendations numerous times. Chair Hamadi, let's be clear. Tesla does tell the owners of its vehicles, whether it's using autopilot or full self-driving beta, look, you have to be vigilant and pay attention when you are behind the wheel. In fact, in fact we have a tweet from uh, Elon Musk we can show you. Uh, this was just a few weeks ago where he says, FSD beta system at times can seem so good that vigilance isn't necessary, but it is. Also, any beta user who isn't super careful will get booted. 2,000 beta users operating for almost a year with no accidents needs to stay that way. I, are they not doing enough? I mean, he's telling people you need to be engaged when you're behind the wheel. That's not enough? No, that's not enough. It's clear that if you're marketing something as full self-driving and it is not full self-driving and people are misusing the vehicles and the technology, that you have a design flaw and you have to prevent that misuse. And part of that is how you talk about your technology. It is not full self-driving, unless you're saying the car is actually, uh, the driver is actually driving the car, which in this case, uh, it isn't full self-driving technology. It's misleading.